Now you've all heard about SARS, H1N1, and most recently, the coronavirus pandemic, which is much cause for serious concern. It has impacted everything from travel to economics and just day-to-day -day activities in general, with the stay-at-home order in place around the world. History shows us that pandemics have the potential to decimate human life. Back in the mid-1300s, it was estimated that over 75 to 200 million people died as a result of the Black Plague, which is more than both world wars combined. When you think of current household names like the flu, you don't think much of it. But at one point, it was the most severe pandemic recent history had seen, taking over 50 million lives. So how did we ever overcome such devastating diseases? Well, to answer that question, the world we live in today is forced to evolve at a rapid pace, especially when it involves the health of our society. Not too long ago, the late 1950s to be exact, our world was just barely beginning what most call the digital revolution, where phones and computers were barely being introduced. This was only 69 years ago, and now we are creating and learning so much, especially regarding healthcare, affecting millions of people around the world. Technological innovation is nothing new to us though. The first technological invention recorded was almost 2 million years ago when stone tools were created. This technology has then evolved and passed from generation to generation, and we just keep building from there. Take healthcare innovation as an example. As new diseases and problems arise every day, new solutions of medicine need to be constructed at the pace at which the problem is presented. But how can we do this when we hardly know anything about the situation in the first place? Well, doctors and scientists around the world work nonstop doing research and tests to find out what the source of the problem is by using our previous knowledge along with leveraging up and coming technology. In our case, when the coronavirus first appeared, doctors and scientists didn't know what it was. But by using previous knowledge, we were able to build an understanding as to what exactly we could do and find ways in which would help the society in finding ways to cope with this problem. In short, our current understanding is based on what researchers have collected over hundreds of thousands of years, and we add to that every day. We use this information and turn it into something greater than what we currently have. This is exactly how we evolved from millions and millions of casualties during the Black Plague to being able to contain or at least minimize the spread of the virus and find a cure at a much faster rate than ever, really, in the history of humankind. With having the coronavirus, we we're able to see how fast modern medicine works. Having scientists and doctors and so many others working together to piece together this puzzle and help get us back on our feet again. In our modern world, innovations of both medicine and technology are making such a tremendous impact. For example, artificial intelligence, which is helping physicians all over the world analyze an immense amount of data. With the advancement in technology, machines are helping making smarter decisions at the point of care. They help improve accuracy when doing patient scans and also help reduce physician burnout. Machine learning algorithms have the ability to highlight problems and process them quickly, aiding in making sense of problems to find solutions faster. With AI's continued integration into healthcare, Caring for patients has become a matter of working smarter, not harder. Technology is being integrated into healthcare, allowing for much quicker solutions and a way to help prevent the spread of the virus. As many of us know, a fever is a wide-ranging symptom of the coronavirus. As many states begin in reopening, a way to scan for a fever is really just one way to help minimize the likelihood of spreading the virus before entering facilities. This is currently being done through thermal scanning. Thermal scanning is a way to detect heat on a person's skin and can be used to detect if someone is feverish. Although this instrument is not labeled as a medical device and cannot detect if someone has coronavirus, it is just one step forward in using this technology to create something greater. An example of this being how one company is using facial detection software to take the temperature of a person's tear ducts to measure temperature. With this being said, Technology is allowing for the rapid development of new treatments by providing healthcare practitioners answers to some of the most complex issues in order to help those in need of a cure. As most of us know, our world right now is insane to say the least. And now more than ever relies on technology to help us get through this tough time. 
most of our biggest problems have in fact turned to technology. Everything from schools to businesses to workplace have turned to platforms such as Zoom, Microsoft, Google, and so many more to allow for the option to work from home, just in light of easing the spread of the virus. Cars are now a safe haven for us to safely pick up groceries or just take us to our favorite restaurants, even if we can't go inside. Seeing what is happening in our world today is scary. The coronavirus has yet to find a cure, but it's being contained as best as it possibly can be. But there is hope. I know that through the collective use of technology, doctors, scientists, and researchers are closer than ever to finding cures to some of the deadliest diseases that plague humanity, or in our case, just a virus. We should all rest assured that we will be okay and continue to thrive as a result of these efforts. With the technology we have right now, which has come so far in just a mere 50 year span, at the rate at which medicine and technology continues to evolve, I can really only imagine what the future has in store for us. My dream one day is to become a doctor and make my contribution to help resolve these issues. I personally think this is really exciting because innovation and inventions like this will help push the growth and just well-being of our society in general to new heights as a result of all the talented people that have come before us devoted to working towards the greater good of our world. Doctors and researchers work endlessly to look for an answer. And to be frank, sometimes there isn't one. But that is exactly why innovation is such an important aspect and impact in our world today. The pandemic has shown us the ability of all people, from my school students to the world's most renowned researchers, to adapt to new circumstances. The world has hosted thousands of diseases and sicknesses since its beginning. Well, what differs today from the oldest plague 5,000 years ago is our technology, our unmatched potential for a cure, and the ability to innovate. Thank you.